Hello friends, in this second part of basic networking command video, I am going to talk about ipconfig slash all, ipconfig slash release and ipconfig slash renew command. These commands we use to get PC network card layer 2 and layer 3 information and troubleshoot the computer network. These commands are working command line interface in our laptop. To open command line interface, I will type window key plus R and type cmd and enter now first i am going to talk about ipconfig slash all commands in this command prompt i type ipconfig slash all and enter this command show us layer 2 and layer 3 information including full tcp ip configuration of pc network adapter in addition to show ip address subnet mask and default gateway it give us other information like host name which is basically our pc name it also show us the physical address or mac address of network adapter and i hope so you know that mac address is unique identifier for every network adapter in the world it also show us the dhcp status enable or disable this often tell us the ip address we get is given by dhcp server or its static ip like here in my PC, you can see DHCP enable. Yes, it's mean the IP address, subnet mask, and gateway what my PC get it receive from DHCP server or my home router. If the DHCP enable is no, it's mean the IP address in my LAN card is manually added in my LAN card and it's called static IP address. Also, it shows us the IP lease time status. It tell us when we obtain the IP address and when the DHCP list will be finished. It also show us the default gateway IP address that is basically the DHCP server IP address. Also here you find the DNS server IP address in my LAN card. So this all information we get by using ipconfig slash all command. This all information very important especially when we troubleshooting the network and from this PC when traffic want to go out of the network or internet, packet will use this MAC address on layer 2 that is data link layer on OSI model and use this IP address on layer 3 that is network layer. That's it for ipconfig slash all command and now I'm going to talk about ipconfig slash release command. In my command prompt, I'm going to type ipconfig slash release. As you see the release word in command, so you get the idea we use ipconfig slash release command when we need to release the obtained ip address of our network card when i press the enter immediately our pc release the existing ip address and will disconnect from the network now i'm going to press the enter and here you can see my wireless lan card does not have any ip subnet mask or gateway why we need to do that there will be many reason my pc receive ip via dhcp server and maybe now that dhcp server not available or someone give that ip statically to any other device or we move our pc from this network to another network and pc still hold the old ip address or whatever the reason but if you want to release the old ip address from your lan card you need to use the command ipconfig slash release. That's it for ipconfig slash release. And now I want to connect back to the network or get the new IP address. For that, I use the command ipconfig slash renew. As you know, currently my network card don't have any IP because we use ipconfig slash release command. To get the new IP, I type ipconfig slash renew and enter. It takes a couple of seconds and it grab a new IP from DHCP server. Normally, it will be the same IP address what we have before because if that IP not assigned to anyone else by DHCP server, we will get the same IP address but with new lease time. And if that IP address already assigned to anyone else, we will get the new IP address. That's it in this second video. In my next video, I'm going to talk about most widely used command in network field that is ping and trace route thank you for watching my video and please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel